In the annals of history, few figures command as much reverence and respect as Abdullah Shah Ghazi. A mystic and Sufi, he left an indelible mark on the spiritual landscape of Pakistan, and his shrine in Karachi remains a beacon for pilgrims today. His real name was Abdullah al Ashtar, a name that bears testament to his rich lineage. He was the son of Muhammad al Nafs al Zakiya, himself a descendant of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. This lineage connected Abdullah Shah Ghazi to a profound spiritual heritage, which he carried forward in his life and teachings. His story is deeply intertwined with the history of Sindh, a region in present-day Pakistan. It was here that he married, had children, and established a life under the patronage of the governor, Umar ibn Hafs. Accompanied by Zaidia troops, ardent supporters of Alul Bayt, Abdullah Shah Ghazi's presence in Sindh was a testament to the region's rich and diverse religious and cultural fabric. However, the winds of time and circumstance were not always kind. Following the death of his father, Abdullah Shah Ghazi found his position compromised. Umar, the governor of Sindh, suggested that he seek refuge with a prince in Sindh. And so, Abdullah Shah Ghazi spent several years in Sindh, etching his legacy into the annals of the region's history. It was here that he would meet his untimely end, killed by his enemies and buried atop a hill in Clifton, Karachi. Yet the tale of Abdullah Shah Ghazi is not one of demise, but of enduring legacy. His shrine, a popular pilgrimage site, is known for its distinct features such as the provision of free meals and kawali performances. Despite the passage of time and even an attack by militants in 2010, the shrine stands strong, its langa, or free kitchen, continuing a tradition of providing meals three times a day, seven days a week since the 1930s. Abdullah Shah Ghazi's life was cut short by his enemies, but his legacy continues to inspire millions. Abdullah Shah Ghazi's final resting place is not just a shrine, it's a beacon of hope and faith for millions. This is no ordinary monument, it is the shrine of Abdullah Shah Ghazi, a Muslim mystic and Sufi, located atop a hill in the heart of Clifton, Karachi. This shrine is more than just a site for religious devotion. It's a place that brings together people from all walks of life. Imagine a place where the air is thick with spiritual fervor, where the rhythm of Kawali music fills the air and the aroma of incense lingers. This is the shrine of Abdullah Shah Ghazi, where the spirit of unity and communal harmony is as palpable as the devotion for the saint it honors. The shrine is known for its distinctive features, the most prominent being its provision of free meals. Upholding the tradition of Langa, a free kitchen that has been a part of the shrine since the 1930s, it provides meals three times a day, seven days a week. This service, open to all, irrespective of their faith or social status, embodies the principles of charity and inclusivity that Abdullah Shah Ghazi stood for. This shrine is not just a place of worship, but a popular pilgrimage site. Every year it sees a sea of devotees, their faces illuminated by faith and hope, expressing their reverence for Abdullah Shah Ghazi. But like all things that stand for peace and unity, this shrine too has seen its share of threats. In 2010, it was attacked by militants, a tragic event that resulted in casualties. Yet the shrine stood resilient, its followers undeterred. They continue to throng to this sacred place, their faith unshaken, their spirits undimmed. Despite the threats and attacks it faced, the shrine of Abdullah Shah Ghazi continues to stand strong, a testament to the resilience and faith of its followers. This shrine, much like the legacy of the saint it honors, is a symbol of enduring faith, a beacon of hope that continues to guide millions. The pages of history are adorned with tales of valor and conquest, and Muhammad bin Qasim's story is one such tale. Born in the heartland of Arab power, Qasim was a young Umayyad general who dared to dream beyond the known horizons. His life was a whirlwind of battles and victories, with his most notable triumph being the conquest of the Sindh and Punjab regions along the mighty Indus River. This was no small feat, especially considering the fact that he achieved this monumental success at the tender age of 17. Muhammad bin Qasim's campaigns were not just about territorial expansion, they were also instrumental in establishing Islamic rule in the region. His approach was characterized by a deep respect for local traditions and cultures. He ensured the protection of non-Muslims, their places of worship, and their freedom to practice their own religions. This showed a level of tolerance and understanding that was quite remarkable for that era. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Qasim faced numerous challenges and hardships, 
From the harsh terrain to the resilient local forces, every step was a test of his mettle. Yet, with his strategic acumen and indomitable spirit, he managed to overcome these obstacles, expanding the Umayyad Caliphate's reach to far-off lands. Qasim's rule, albeit brief, was marked by significant administrative and societal reforms. He established an efficient system of taxation, improved infrastructure, and promoted trade and commerce. His focus on justice and equity earned him the respect and admiration of the people he ruled over. However, like many powerful figures in history, Qasim's life was cut short by political intrigue. His demise did not diminish his achievements though. His legacy lived on, shaping the course of history in the region. Muhammad bin Qasim's conquests paved the way for centuries of Islamic rule in the region, leaving an indelible mark on its history. His story is a testament to the power of ambition, resilience, and a vision for a more inclusive world. The ripples of Muhammad bin Qasim's conquests can still be felt today, centuries after his death. His military expeditions not only expanded the boundaries of the Umayyad Caliphate, but also brought about profound changes in the region that became his legacy. One of the most significant impacts of bin Qasim's conquests was the spread of Islam. This was not merely a change in religious belief, it was a transformation of a way of life. Islam offered a new perspective, a new code of conduct, and above all, a new community. The people of Sindh and Punjab, where bin Qasim established his rule, embraced Islam, and the faith became firmly rooted in the land. Another major ripple of his conquests was the establishment of Arabic as the lingua franca. With the arrival of the Arabs, the Arabic language found a new home in the region. It became the language of administration, commerce and intellectual discourse. Over time it influenced local languages and even today the imprint of Arabic can be seen in languages like Urdu and Punjabi. But perhaps the most enduring impact of bin Qasim's conquests was on the local culture and traditions. The fusion of Arab and local customs gave birth to a unique culture, one that blended the best of both worlds. The influence of the Arab world brought new elements to the region's art, architecture and literature, adding a new dimension to its cultural tapestry. In the end, the ripples of bin Qasim's conquests are not just historical footprints, they are living, breathing parts of the region's identity. They are evident in the faith of the people, in the words they speak, in the traditions they follow, and in the culture they cherish. The echoes of Muhammad bin Qasim's conquests continue to reverberate in the region, shaping its identity and destiny. History is not just about dates and events, it's about lessons learned and wisdom gained. In our journey through the lives of the venerable Abdullah Shah Ghazi and the intrepid Muhammad bin Qasim, we've unraveled not just their stories, but the timeless lessons they've left behind. Abdullah Shah Ghazi, a Muslim mystic and Sufi, teaches us resilience and faith. His life was marked by his unwavering devotion to his beliefs, even in the face of adversity. His shrine in Karachi stands as a testament to his enduring legacy, providing free meals and spiritual solace to countless pilgrims each day. It is a beacon of generosity and a reminder that service to others is a powerful form of worship. Muhammad bin Qasim, on the other hand, embodies courage and the pursuit of justice. A young general who led a significant conquest at a tender age, he demonstrated that age is not a barrier to achieving greatness. His impact is still felt today, centuries after his death. His life serves as a reminder that with determination and courage, we can overcome even the most daunting challenges. These historical figures were products of their time, but the lessons they impart are timeless. They remind us that our actions can echo through the ages, influencing not just our lives but those of generations to come. They encourage us to hold fast to our convictions, to serve others selflessly, to face challenges with courage, and to strive for justice. In a world that is constantly changing, their stories provide a touchstone, a reminder of the enduring values that make us human. Their lives serve as a mirror, reflecting our own potential for resilience, faith, courage and justice. As we delve into the stories of Abdullah Shah Ghazi and Muhammad bin Qasim, we find not only historical figures but timeless lessons, reminders of what it means to be human in a world of constant change.